Hi, I'm Rabbi Emily Meyer, and this is Flipping Hadracha, a flipped classroom model for Madrachim, or teaching assistants, in Jewish classrooms. Today, we're going to refresh our understanding of Hebrew vowels. Hebrew vowels are called nekudot, which means little dots. They are little lines and dots found over, under, or next to Hebrew letters. Some nekudot always make the same sound, and some change based on the word. Let's start with an easy one. This flat line is called patach and makes the sound ah. It kind of looks like a tongue depressor in the doctor's office. Say ah. There's another vowel that says ah. It looks like the English letter T. It's called kamatz, but it's a tricky one. Sometimes it makes the sound o, oh, like in the word kol. Here the vowel is called the kamatz katan. It has to do with the syllable. If it's unaccented and closed, that means a syllable ends with a consonant sound instead of a vowel sound, then it's a kamatskatan. Speaking of the sound O, oh, there are a few ways to show that vowel sound. Hadacholam, this dot above the letter to the left side makes an O oh sound. You can find this dot on its own or over a vav. The vowel shuruk is also found with a vav. It makes an oo oo sound. I like to think of a vav as a person trying to catch a ball. If the ball goes into his stomach, he says oo. And if it goes over her head, she says, oh! There's another way to show the oo sound, called a kubutz. It's shown with three dots underneath the letter in a straight line. I like to think of a person pointing their finger at something icky. Oo! If you take those three dots and rearrange them into a triangle, you get a segol, which makes an eh sound. It looks like a face that's not smiling or frowning, it's just kind of eh. If you take away the bottom dot, you get a tsere, which makes an a eh sound. It looks like a cheerleader's pom-poms, going, yay! Take away another dot and find a chirik, one lonely dot at the bottom of the letter. This reminds me of a little mouse, which makes me say, ee, the sound of a chirik. Last but not least, we have the schwa. This vowel looks like a stop sign and signifies two similar but different sounds. There are lots of rules to tell us how a schwa sounds, but the easiest to remember is this. If the schwa comes at the beginning of a syllable, it makes an uh sound, like ve ahavta. And if the schwa closes a syllable, it acts as a stop sign, like in the word mitzrayim. So if you have two schwas in a row, the first one is usually a stop sign, and the second one is usually an uh sound. Like the kamats, some fonts have different ways of writing the two schwas, and you can always ask your teacher for help. There are also a few nikudot that aren't vowels. The sin and shin dots tell you which letter is which. There's also the dot that tells you the difference between a bat and a vet, pay and fe, kaf and chaf. This dot is called a dagesh. In some letters, it's just a way to show that that letter is emphasized, like when we use a double consonant in English. Vowels can get tricky, so be sure to ask your teacher for help if you have any questions. That's all for Hebrew vowels. Thanks for watching Flipping Hajaha.